What has become of this city? There used to be laws. Justice. Not anymore. Crime is out of control. Cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey! Who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa! Whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get, get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, ma'am. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, you brought a towel. Hey, man, I'm Towelie, your gaming bud. I'm gonna give you some tips from time to time because, well, who doesn't like tips, right? All right, then, I'll see you later. <laughs> Mommy, stop crying, sweetheart. I just have something stuck in my eye. <laughs> You just moved to town, and you get to be king? Well, I think you're a little pussy. Knock him out, king. Well, let's go. We've got to get inside Cartman's house. Stand aside or die. We're going through that door. You can't. Oh, yeah? Why not? Because everything in front of here is lava. Oh, dude, no way. All that is lava? Yep, everything from here to here is lava. You can't cross it. 
Come on, let's get inside. We can't, they're seeing everything in front of the door is lava. Oh, that's not fair. What do we do, the king? What do you do now? You die! Release the dragon! A dragon? Yes, lad. That's the dragon roaring. Get a fire breath attack. Our king gets his hammer of heavenly rain. You can't stop the kit. Car. Car. Stay out of the street, damn kids. Clear. As I was saying, you can't stop the king. He is all powerful. Oh my god, he defeated the dragon! No frickin' way! That kid's amazing! Wow! Did you see that? The king's amazing! Maybe there's a way in through the garage, my lord! If there's a way in through the garage, the king will find it! Yes, only the king can find these secret way in- Well, king! Douchebag is such a skillful warrior! Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realms. Holy fuck, he's amazing. Speak, Bard! What happened to the Stick of Truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish! Unhand him, you heathens! Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right, and if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> the wizard is gone. My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That... that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the hundred dollar reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins! There's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert! Come on, Coon friends! Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair! In the future, Coon and friends assemble! Sorry guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now and you guys are dorks. Hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. It seems like anything with a gold handle could be open. Give it a shot. Eric and his friends are so imaginative. It's a key item. Maybe that means it's important. Howdy ho, gaming bud. When you enter. 
enter a bathroom, don't be shy about taking a potty break. You can get some neat stuff when you use the toilet. Good luck, bud. Yes, officer. Somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me Fuck. I would burn to death if I try you. and cross it. Uh-huh. Mom. Oh. Maybe we should go to Raisins and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human Kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Woo! Super Craig! Fast Pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fa 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 Fast Pass to get there fa 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 fast. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sharer. Good sharer? It'll blow up the fucking galaxies! Stupid bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Ugh. All right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephernacy device. It's over there. Well, that took long enough. Stephernacy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. I can have a let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of speedster? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Brutalist. Blaster. A speedster, like the Flash or Quicksilver. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walked- You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. You used your punch attack on the bad guy. Dude, we're not getting anywhere until you use the power. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. 
But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body! Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn! First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist! Shit, my atoms! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike! A supersonic dash! Kid's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until... A third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders could bend! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit, here's one more! Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you! Can't run away from this! You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! <laughs> nice! He was just too speedy. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Yes, I've heard of those. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'll see you on the internet. is super fun. Check it out sometime. You'll need more followers before I selfie with you. New kid, looks like you've reached the edge of our known universe. Beyond there lies the limits of time and space. Dude, just go the other way, that's what I'm saying. Uh, sorry, I don't follow just anyone on social media. Can you help me with this thing? It's stuck. Huh? Hey, you got it open. You're the real deal, little superhero. A, a selfie? Sure, kid, let's do it. Okay, nice. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. We're friends now. Well, I guess we have enough mutuals that we can selfie. Not bad, butthole. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. 
I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. We're friends now, I guess. Mm, okay, we can get a selfie together. Cool, we follow each- Who would do such a thing? It's just so mean! Hey, kid, you know anything about this? Somebody's keying my wife's car at night. It's happening every night. I thought it was just one of you damn kids, but we'll... Here, come here, take a look at this. Whoever's scratching the car is also leaving notes. I'm just scared it's a jilted lover or something. You won't forget me that easy. I thought we had something. I'll tell the world about you, bitch. Listen, I'm sick of having to buff this shit out. If you can catch whoever's keying my wife's car tonight, I'll follow you on Coonstagram. Trust me, you want me as a follower. I'm a pretty big deal in this town. Ah, I see you've made it to the Palace of the Clouds. That's home base to Human Kite. Perhaps you can find him inside. you really you sent a newbie to my distress call you're such a dick coon sorry kid but my problem is too big for a rookie a few days ago there was an anomaly in the universe another version of me the human kite from an alternate dimension showed up here and is destroying everything right now it's upstairs in my room i don't think anything can stop it Human Kite from another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've got to really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Uh, zoom. Oh, hey, Kyle. I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe, it is time for you to go back to your universe! What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe, we're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my powers. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be human kite. But he said, you can't be human kite, I'm human kite. And I said, well, why can't we be human kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be human kites together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. <laughs> I'm 
I haven't done a whole lot of sparring. Is this a no contact thing? Full contact, not sparring. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I didn't bring my pads. It's happening. Get him, new kid. Cousin Kyle, we can beat him if we join forces. Yeah, I really want to, but Parallel Universe will say I can't. Wait, I thought I should get this turn instead of the new kid because he didn't wait when I said time out earlier, so I think it should be my turn now. Are you kidding me? That's totally cheating. All right, here we go, my super ultimate power. Get ready. Are you ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay, Wrath Kite from an alternate universe. Jesus, I think I might have ruptured my hernia. You had enough, alternate me? Yeah, the superhero stuff really hurts. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphophonique for my ear because I got a scrape on it for being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. Lord, those are sixth graders. They're the most vile, evil beings known to superheroes. You guys are stupid. Everyone knows Kiefer's mom has the nicest boobs. Dude, shut up about my mom's boobs, bro. Why don't you make me zit face? When I finish kicking your butt, I'm gonna kick your stupid frog's butt. Frogs don't have butts, they have claws up. Wow, you really beat him. You saved me. Nice work, new kid. You took down a sixth grader. Keep it up. You really want a selfie with me? <laughs> Watching you defeat that sixth grader was so cool. Maybe I can become as strong as you one day. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. We should start in the basement. That's the last place I saw him. I'll stand by the stairs and keep him from escaping. You do the rest, butthole. Be careful. This is probably the most challenging mission you've ever been given. Look, there he is, in the vet, way up high. You don't have amazing arm stretching powers, do you, butthole? This is so not a waste of your time. Oh, sweet. Those might be handy. You're welcome. Oh, almost. Do it again. Whoa, there he goes. Follow that kid away. Quick, hit that box with your thing. Hit that thing. Well, shit! I can't believe you just did that. You're so good at this. Move that thing out of the way.
Hurry, do your thing or he won't come out. Wow, that looked like it required so much skill. Use the power of your ass to overwhelm his super... Yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue. But it wasn't just me. We have Butt-Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Ah, yes. Who wouldn't want a selfie with the Craig of Steel? Okay, later, butt stuff. New kid! Hey there, are you one of Craig's friends? You looking for Craig? Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Come back with any new pieces you find! Not bad, new kid, not bad. Way to go out and get some followers on Koonstagram. I think you're ready for the next level. Head back to the Coon Lair. Coon out. Stop! New kid, stop! You see all those little red Lego bricks? That's lava. You try and cross lava, you die. Don't even touch it. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. Who would put lava there? <laughs> Take that, Coon friend! Professor Chaos! That's right, Coon. I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now. We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, there you are, butthole. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? It's okay, you totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you because your dad fucked your mom when you were a child. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. You'll find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on, give it a shot. Every artifact has a specific place it can be slotted on your body. Equip this one to boost your strength sets. It might be a little uncomfortable at first. Your DNA is fusing with it. You'll find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. And you can even craft your own. Just remember, with great power comes great chicks and money. I think you're ready to take on those sixth graders now. Go give them hell, butt lord. Artifacts are a big part of what makes you strong, bud. It's a good idea to try and match your artifacts with the kinds of powers you use in battle. See you next tip. Oh, hey, new kid. You found your first fast travel station. Look for more. They'll make your life way easier. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Just throw a rock at it. No. Here, kitty, kitty, come. Just throw a firecracker instead! Nuh-uh, those are expensive! Give me the rock! Hey, it's that little Forthy again! Alright, Forthy, time to teach you a lesson! Wow. Are we really going to take on the 6th graders? No mercy, guys! Sure, invite all the Forthy friends you want to this ass-kicking! More ass for me! Okay, let's see what- Okay, that was pretty badass. We make a good team. All right, that was sweet. Wait until it gets on the internet about how the Coon and Friends beat up four sixth graders. This is great for our franchise. Kind of sucks for you, though, new kid, because now the sixth graders are going to be coming after you. You probably should have done that. That was pretty stupid. Okay, now go and get our franchise more followers. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You didn't fill out your kryptonite. So, what, you're invincible? 
There's no way. That's against the rules. You have to have a weakness. <sighs> Go find Mosquito. He can help you out. I'll put the rest of the character sheet stuff on your map. Now get out there and do some superhero missions. That's the only way to fill out your character sheet. Hey, Forthy, come play with us big kids! That's what I thought! Congratulations, new kid! Your fast travel system is fully oper operate. Uh, uh, good to go! Find more stations to expand your network. And when you get into trouble, Fast Pass will be there. Bye. Oh my god, I have so much homework tonight. Okay, sure, I'll take a pick. Yay, thanks. Sure, I take like 10 selfies a day. Sweet! You're new, huh? Better keep tabs on you so you don't screw around. Okay, but no screwing around. Well, okay then. Okay, now don't go screwing around. Come back tomorrow, eh? You're the new kid, right? Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? Now, I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid. It's, it's really simple. When, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply... You can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now a... Uh, I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short, okay? So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and, well... He's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Huh? Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. Even if you're a guy who happens to like titties, okay? If 
it ain't a si our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. Everyone try to keep up. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before, but you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're teepeeing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full-on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the hard sell, but well, do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Moo. Oh, hey. I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. Oh, I guess this one likes it rough. No complaints here. God damn it! I can't put a child in a dark room for two minutes without you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 mil Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. Maybe when you're better at crafting, I'll take a selfie with you. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Let's start with a staple, the burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. This here should now to just now that you've had your first taste of crafting, let's dig in. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell? Have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. <laughs> no.
Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history with a selfie. Okay, let's never do that again. And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. Remember the Wonder Twins? I remember I love the Space Monkey. Yeah, remember? Remember that? Remember when Wonder Women had... That's raisins, new kid. Mosquito must be inside. Get in there, but do not be tempted by their amazing wings and hot bitches. Hi, welcome to Raisins. Just one of you today? Well, come right over here, cutie. Over here, hon. One of our Raisins girls will be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so, so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women. What superhero are you? Super, wait. Oh my god, the mission. My fellow superheroes. I've completely forgot. Back away, temptresses. Mosquito knows what you are trying to do. Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are mosquitoes kryptonite. You gotta get me out of here. Uh, well, okay then. Here's your bill. <laughs> I think not. You tried to charm me. I will not pay this bill. You have to leave a tip, asswipe. They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid. Let's do this. <laughs> Outfits, idiots. I mean, cuties. Order up, cuties. <laughs> oh, I wanted to order a lemonade, but I guess it's too late. Come on, this is our chance. Oh, those witches are my kryptonite, and you must have saved me just in time. I'm forever in your debt, but, hero, what is your kryptonite? Dude, you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against. Any particular phobas? Any emotional hang-ups? I mean, come on, there's gotta be something. Look, it's okay, I'm on your team, but, kid, you can tell me. All right, all right, let me see your character sheet. Raisins, girls. Those wanton temptresses. No argument from me. Hey, great. Job done. Your kryptonite is officially noted. Uh, no, Mosquito must be off. Call on me if you should need me, coon friend. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out. Ah, new kid, come take a seat. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human All language? Right, well, how's it going out there? Upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um. Your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. An elementalist, so if it rains on me, it's your fault. 
Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. You had to stop these thugs and their traps. You started by entrapping the biggest in an ice prison. <laughs> Ensnared by the cold, the intruder could only watch as his turn passed him by. Hey, you can't just take a man's turn like that. Yeah, who do you think you are, kid? The intruders approached you, though little did they know they had set themselves up perfectly for a sand trap. I think this kid has some kind of power over ice and earth. Impossible. You took the opportunity to heal and focus your powers. I think I'll move over here. Oh man, I finally get a whack this damn kid. Feeling focused, you shrugged off the blow and readied your ultimate attack. Summoning the powers of ice, water, lightning, and earth, you unleashed into the intruders an elemental onslaught. Oh, there it is. I'm shocked. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe. And then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! It's a cooning friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pals! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! No time to waste, butthole! This way, butthole! Toward the bus stop! It's the quickest route! My coon sense is on fire! Freedom Pals is on the move! A confrontation is brewing! Yes, this way! Keep going! Towards the bus stop! Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, uh, goddammit! So close! Head towards Main Street, butthole! And gird your loins for battle! Yes, a little further! We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movies. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole 
whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you! By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes! We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags, in my mind. He did?! All right, you son of a bitch! Ha! Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! You're making a big mistake messing with Kunin, friends. I'll have you in stitches. Today, you cross paths with the wrong immortal fourth grader. That was some dark shit, man. Car! Car! Come on, move! I have a thing to get to! Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Phew. All clear. My turn. Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit. Come on. Code, what happened? Timmy got away? He... he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. 